Hey everyone, happy 2017. Man, it's hard to believe that another year has gone by, but I wanna to share today the importance of really making 2017 the best that it can be. And I believe that this is gonna be a great year. Why? Because we make it great. And that's why I'm truly passionate about this and talking about resolutions and, and what we can do to make this year better than last year. That's why we do resolutions, is we want to improve, we want to make our lives better, we really want to make it where we are living life to the fullest, making the most of each and every day, because I'm sure each and every one of you watching this video can tell of someone that you lost last year, or that has gone through struggles, and maybe you've gone through struggles, and so it's really important that we make the most of each and every day. Now, I, in the past, have not always been one that has actually done resolutions because I've seen other people set them and then not achieve their goals. And yet last year I set a resolution that I felt was so important and I am so glad. And so I am back on the train, back on the track of making these resolutions. So I wanna help you make your resolution the best that it can be this year. Last year I actually made my resolution, as silly and as weird as this may sound, to be that I would spend more time with my mom and my dad. The reason being is on Facebook throughout the year, I had seen so many people who had lost their parents. And I had seen that, yeah, I see my parents, but it had gotten to the point where we were so busy. And of course they were so busy also, but that I had gone sometimes months in between without spending quality time with them. And so I made the resolution last year that I was going to do one thing with each of them each month. And I can say that I achieved it. And man, I am so glad because I made some of the most amazing memories with my parents in this last year. And I'm going to continue doing that as time goes on. And so what are your New Year's resolutions? What are you wanting to achieve this year? In that, I have a few tips and a few pointers for you. First of all, Make it attainable, make it simple. Make it where it's something that you can actually achieve. As I was at church yesterday, I thought, what is gonna be my resolution for this year? And I saw that I am going to, as simple as it sounds, my goal for this year is to read one page a day out of a book that will improve my life. It's actually gonna be uh, Jack Canfield's uh, successful Principles for Successful People, I think is the name of the book. And uh, I'm going to read one page a day. And I know that sounds so simple, but if I do any more than that, I know that it will not be attainable. So keep it simple. Also, let other people know what your resolution is, what your goal is, and have them keep you accountable. It's pretty cool. I haven't posted about this or shared this yet, but Doug in the last three or four months has lost 44, almost 45 pounds. If you've seen him, he is so skinny. And I'll tell you the reason for his success is that he has an accountability partner, someone that he talks to every week that he has to report to. And I believe that that's a huge part of his success and it will be a huge part in whether you achieve your New Year's resolution yourself. And lastly, you know, I just really want to um, uh, say that how important it is that um, you stay on track. Stay on track, not only have that accountability partner, but use yourself and, and make it so where that it's gonna make you healthier, it's gonna make you happier, and it's gonna, you're gonna look back at the end of 2017 and say, I'm so glad that I did this. So challenge yourself and uh, listen to this video a couple times, take notes, so that you can make the best of 2017. As I say in my message, the best is yet to come. I believe it's true. See you soon.